Mamie takes her break around 4 o'clock, and us regulars have to fend for ourselves. Thank you. Mamie, I see you're on a first-name basis with a waitress. Well, I think she's practically adopted me, probably because I told her I was a waiter at college, or because I tip well one of the two. I can't see you as a waiter somehow. You can... I did every part-time job imaginable. I was a waiter, I was a bellhop, I was a bartender, I was a lifeguard. Are you I worked trying to impress me with your versatility? Is it working? <laughs> Listen, we're talking about me again. I know nothing about you. All I know is that you work for Lisa Mitchell at the cellar, and that you were a hotel and restaurant management major at Oakdale U before you got married. Well, um, that's about all there is to tell. Yeah, I doubt it. You know, a lot of people thought of you when you were in an explosion in the fire. And I know, but I don't want to talk about it. Sorry. It's just that I've closed that chapter in my life. I'm ready for a new one. Yeah, me too. That's why I left New York, came here. You know, maybe that's all life is, a series of chapters. You open one, you close another, and when you get to the end, you just close the book. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, up until now, I think my life is lacking a little continuity. It's been more like a collection of short stories. Perhaps I ought to start with a novel. I guess that means I have to <laughs> stick with something or someone, kind of like Craig with Sierra. Well, Craig and Sierra are special, but I don't think the rest of us can find anything that's going to last forever. So do you think Emily's going to go to prison? Well, I hope not. Look, I like Emily. I respect her. I think she's got a lot of guts. <laughs> I don't think guts has much to do with it. You know, if I bought out Emily's shares and you buy out Craig, then that would make me your silent partner. Sean, don't waste your sympathy on Emily. She's been riding for a fall ever since I've known her. And once you're down, somebody's always there to take advantage of your misfortune. That's the way life is. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I hate to spoil this moment, mm -hmm. but I'm curious. I want to mm. know what Philip had to... Mm. Shh, please. We've got all night to talk about Philip. Oh, um, we kind of don't have all night. What did you do? Well, we don't have to go, but Shannon and Duncan invited us to go over to see their new place. How can I refuse you anything? Thank you, Dinah. You who love me in spite of my family, my past. Honey, I love you. <sighs> Look, it's not like you ever asked me to be a part of your old life. You want to start a new life with me. And you know as well as I do that I need that just as much as you do. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Remind me to get a new service that picks up the phone. Hello, Montgomery and Associates. Uh, hello, Mr. Lombard. Yeah, well, Brock is here. Would you? Uh huh. Well, that that sounds very nice. Brock, your father wants to bring your mother into Oakdale at the beginning of next week to have dinner with all of us and my mom. Hello, Papa. You're bringing Mama to Oakdale? I will do my best to justify your trust in me, Joe. Emily's like family to me. Ellie Snyder is a friend. You want me to stand by while you use these two women as bait to blow a major crime family out of the water? But we have good reason to believe these two women know this score. He thinks that she's been unfaithful to him? I don't know how we protect Andy from Julie. But maybe we can protect him from himself. I'm going to call Susan, see if she can recommend anybody over at AA that might be able to give us a hand. Oh. But I'm willing to try anything at this point. Hi, Susan. John. Listen, can you stop by the office for a minute? Come in. Well, I, Kim and I would like a little advice on the situation. Hi, Andrew. Right. He's being just yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Really? Okay. We've got an appointment with uh, Lynn Michaels later this afternoon, and he's on the phone now with Susan well, to see if there's anybody at AA well. that we need to talk to. I guess we'd better cancel Duncan right. and Shannon. Oh, Lord, I completely forgot about that. Uh, uh, yeah. Can we just hold on and, and play it by ear till I see how this turns out? Okay, sure. Fine. Then, then I'll see you in a little while. 
Thanks, Susan. Bye-bye. Well, she's going to come by shortly. We should give us something we can get to our boy in time. Oh, God, I hope so. Oh, come on. You can count on it. Yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I'll tell her. Okay, goodbye. Don't do this to me. Don't keep me in suspense. Tell me, what did he say? Well, what, Mr. What? Lucas Pryor accepts with pleasure. Oh, oh. No, bloody hell. The poor man doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Shannon did the same thing to me. Made me chase her all over the place till I finally I succumbed. I remember it a different way. <laughs> well, it's typical of you women. You always make us oh, do we, all the work. Now, Duncan, a true woman craves to have a little romance in her life. And let me tell you something about this Lucas Pryor. When he walked into Mona Lisa, <laughs> I was ready for him. Well, seems like he was ready for you, too. Oh, I'm not so sure, Shannon. I don't know. I heard him. He kind of sweet-talked Emily and sweet-talked Ellie and... Uh, that man's got a roving eye, but he's... Well, uh, I gotta tell you, Emily's coming with Brock, uh -huh. and Ellie hasn't been invited, so you'll have the field all to yourself. Hmm. What field? Hi, Frank. Hi, guys. Hey, look Hi. at that. She's not even winded. <laughs> what, from the stairs? It was yeah. only three flights. Um, Duncan, your assistant just told me to show myself in. I know you guys are getting ready for the party and everything, oh, but if I could just have a word with you, Shannon? Sure. All right. Oh, listen, I've got to tell you something. I called up Julie and invited her to the party, and she and Andy are looking forward to it so much. And Leanne is going to be here with Duke. I think we're going to have a really lively crowd. <laughs> you sure you're going to be okay over at Duncan and Shannon's if everybody's drinking? That's what? Even with what happened right before Christmas? Look, I told you, I have it under control now. If I get the urge to drink, I'm out of there, so don't worry. Look, we better get dinner started if we want to get to Shannon's by 8. Good idea. Actually, honey, why don't you get in the shower and I'll start the salad and then I'll shower while you broil the steaks. Are you trying to get rid of me so you can put dry mustard in the salad dressing? I hate dry mustard in the salad dressing. I won't Julie, put dry please. mustard in the salad dressing, trust me. I do, with my life. You know what I'm wearing tonight? Those French briefs that you brought me from New York. Sure, why not? Well, that's not all I'm gonna wear. <laughs> that's it, that's what we need, more laughter. We get back to the fun we always had. If I search this whole wide world, never, never, never. Hello, Tonio. It's Julie. As I don't have much time. I, I just couldn't leave things the way they were when we saw each other at the Mona Lisa. I do care. Yes, if you cared too, then you would give me more time. I'll try, but it might not be all that easy because we're going to a party tonight. Continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment.